So today I'm here uh, checking some of these organic uh, romaine lettuce here, romaine hearts that they're going to be harvesting pretty soon. And uh, been having lately a problem with thrips. Now, uh, and by the way, when even when it's singular, you say thrips with an S, which is very odd. Um, but if you ever get into a discussion with an entomologist and accidentally say thrip as a singular, uh, he's going to give you a hard time for it. So. Anyways, but been having a huge kind of a problem with thrips um, as it's been untypically warm here in the desert. And so the best way to control thrips, in my opinion, is you're going to want to use a product with the active ingredient spinosad. That is the most fast acting thrips material that's going to um, smoke the thrips pretty well. It's going to work fast, it's going to knock them down, and if you're in the bind, that's probably the best thing you want to use. Now, if you, um, as more of a maintenance program, um, as, as a preventative program to keep thrips out of your, your plants, I would start with a, uh, a ration of, of an azadiractin or neem oil, but preferably azadiractin based type of product. And you're going to want to apply every week. You could also mix that with a insecticidal soap of some sort. And, um, and then of course, uh, Mantis EC would be another very good uh, thrips material on a regular maintenance uh, just to keep your plants clean. Now, with all these products, um, not so much with the spinosad, but uh, because it just works that well. Um, but with most of these products, with the, the other contact products that I'm talking about, the insecticidal soaps, the Azadiract, and, and, the, and the Mantis EC, you want to get really good coverage because these products have to come into direct contact with the uh, thrips in order for them to work properly. So you want to get really good coverage um, and you're going to want to spray organically on a regular basis. You want to keep the thrips um, out of there. That's the, that's the best way to do it. And if you really want to knock the thrips out, I've done a lot of work um, here in the in the open field. Take mixing a spinosad based product with Mantis EC, and the results have been fantastic. The the two combined, even though in, even though a spinosad works pretty good with the addition to a Mantis EC, the two combined provide statistically better control than just the spinosad by itself. And that's because uh, as the, the, the Mantis EC acts as a, as a penetrator, so it's going to physically penetrate the insect's cuticle and break it down. And by doing so, that exposes the insects, or the thrips in this case, um, to, the, to the spinosa treatment. So the, making the spinosa treatment much more effective. And, um, and that seems to be, and that's a very good option when, uh, when you're at the tail end or you need to really clean things up uh, quickly. So there's my take on thrips control in organic production. And uh, if you have any questions, please email me. And if you would like a free Mantis hand lens, just go to mantispp.com forward slash free hand lens and I'll set you up.